guys so today we'll be looking at how to fix our snowflake uh issue when we are trying to connect to um tableau right so if i try to connect to my snowflake i keep getting this to use this connector you need to download the in you need to download and install the driver first and you have obviously downloaded this driver like a couple of times right um same thing if i try to connect to my sql i get the same problem if i try to connect to uh, my postgres right uh my postgres is obviously working right so uh, if i try to connect to uh say basically any database right um you are getting oh you need to download uh this driver but you've downloaded the driver and it's not working right um i will post this video and um, show you a quick fix on um what i have done right so um we can see how to edit that i'm just going to save everything i have in this file right then i will of course close my tableau and relaunch it again then let's see that i'm not able to connect to snowflake to mysql and some other databases that are probably giving uh, that same error right so if i bring this in very well right let me try to connect to my snowflake now right so, so connect to my snowflake now and voila i can connect to my snowflake so how did i solve this um let's get started so um we'll be using um basically just connecting to snowflake with tableau and my name remains aya the uh the owner of eba analytics so we'll be using four packages um the unix odbc manager um the iodbc manager uh, the ODBC manager and of course the latest um, Snowflake ODBC driver. So I want to um, as, assume that you have the last uh, requirement which is the latest Snowflake ODBC um, driver. I will be putting the link to download um, everything um, so you don't have to um, trouble yourself on going around searching for how to get them right. So to install the Unix ODBC manager right we need to use the command prompt so what we do is to open your command prompt and type in the brew right um let me bring this so we can see the command right brew install um unix right odbc and then you just um, execute that but because i have that already what she showed me is is already um satisfied right so first it's going to update your um brew right then um it will install the um unix odbc um driver basically this package is for us to manage our odbc connections on the um, on the system right so once you are done installing that right then um you want to download the iodbc right now iodbc is different from the unix odbc that we just installed so the iodbc is required for uh, macbooks um for you to be able to you know connect to uh, most of these um databases right so to do that um you need to go to the iodbc um download link that i'm going to add uh in the browser below right in the description is going to be there so download it from there and then just follow the prompt so how to install that is you follow the prompts uh and then um, there is something that we need to take note of um in this tip so the software will be installed in the library slash application slash support slash iodbc and slash bin that is where you are going to find this iodbc once you finish installing it then you should take note of two things um, once you have slash uh, means that that is systems information and once you have the tilde it means um, user account so if you have something like um, tilde slash library slash um, application support then it means that you are talking about the user account um, the user library or if you have just slash library and um, slash application support 
then it means that you are talking about the system um, library so let's quickly let's confirm if uh this thing has been installed in our system library so um would come to the um, once you launch your macbook right um once you open your file manager rather um i'm coming this is a bit tricky um so so once you open your um, your finder, right? Basically, you are going to get this. So go to your MacBook, right? Then your MacBook, um, open your. Of course, you are going to have just one. So or I mean, whatever um, number of users you have here. So open the system library, right? Then check through till you are able to see ODBC, right? So in the ODBC, once you um, open it you should see the oh that's application support okay um so odbc right application support and we can see here odbc here right so this is odbc if we open the bin as described in the um, slide we can see that um, this is where the iodbc um, is installed so you want to confirm that first that the iodbc is installed properly and in that um, location right so after that the next thing we want to download is um so you can see we said is in the library application support iobgc then slash bin and that is exactly um, what we have here um library application supports iobdc bin then inside of bin is where we have the iobdc installed right so we want to download the next one which is the odbc manager so the odbc manager is a gui um, for configuring drivers and managing your dns which are your um data source that you are trying to connect to um tablet right and then of course i will add the i will drop the link in the description you can download the odbc manager um, from this link now to install the odbc manager is similar to how you install the iodbc manager right um you unzip that then you execute and just follow the command prompt and just install there's no need to change anything right but then the iodb the odbc manager will be installed in your user application um, directory so which means that if we go back again uh now i mean um my macbook right so um i need to go to users right then mac and then if i go to applications now in application no, not here yes, sorry this is applications right now if i scroll down to applications i should look for utilities right these utilities right here and in utilities i can see odbc manager right so if i open the odbc manager of course it's going to show me uh the drivers that i have on my that i have available on my system right so these are the drivers that i have right now um five so which means right now i can connect to um four databases um on my with my tablet right but don't worry we'll get to all of this so you can confirm the odbc manager is also installed in that uh directory right so once you confirm that the odbc manager is installed in that directory right in your user applications and utility now we can install um the last one which is the snowflake uh, modbc driver right i want to um uh, be rest assured that you've downloaded this and probably install it like a couple of times like i did so um how do we now get to confirm that this snowflake odbc driver is installed on our system right uh, by default is going to be installed in two directories it's going to be installed in slash opt slash snowflake slash snowflake odbc and then it's also going to be installed in the library obdc so you if you check your library obdc which is um again um your user your system library right um so let's try to close all of this back so um which is library right now i will be dc and not i will be dc library um let's close the applications so that we don't have too much thing open then we scroll down to obdc right 
uh, they are saying that Snowflake uh, should be installed here, right? Which means that the information for Snowflake should be in this uh, either of these two files, right? This OBD CINI and OBD C uh, INST um, dot INI. But right now, nothing is there. If you open it on your end, um, nothing is going to be there, right? So how do we now um, put what we need inside? of that um, place is that we need to look for this second part which is this slash opt slash snowflake right we need to look for it and how do we get this uh, part is that um, if you open your um, your file manager which is your finder um, you look at this go at the top right um, click on go to folder right then the folder you want to go to will be slash opt just go to slash opt alone and then in slash opt you will find snowflake there right so here you can open this um open the snowflake doc so according to this um output here um what it says that is snowflake will be inside snowflake odbc right so uh, we have snowflake we have snowflake odbc so if we look at the um setup we can see obdcini and obdcinst.ini so these two files are what we need to be in the um, obdc library that we have um, out here of course um, that we have out here in these two files obdcini and obdcinst what is in this file we need it to be in these uh, two files right so what we'll do is we would open this um, for me i have microsoft um, visual studio um, installed but um, you can use any um, any other um, text editor you know to um, do this right so if i open the this um, obdc.ini we can see the five parts right here in my um, visual studio code opt snowflake snowflake code bdc setup then odbc.ini so this information right here i would need i will copy it right um, i'll copy it from here then go to my um obdc for file in my library right don't forget in your system library right so the obdc file that is here which is obdc.ini I'm going to open this as well, right? So open with Visual Studio Code, and then I would paste it here, right? I will paste it here. You can see that it is right here, Snowflake uh, DSSII. If I open this file back, right? Snowflake DSSII, I have it uh, in this place already, Snowflake DSSII. And then uh, the declaration, which is the file, the drivers um, part, which we can also see here as the drivers um, part, right? So I have that. Then I'm going to open the second file, which is the obdc.inst.ini, right? Which is this. I need just two things, just these two informations right here. I don't need this. Then I'm going to copy this as well and open my <coughs> obdc.ini. Um, inst.ini that is in my um, library which is my system library and also paste that here and we can see um, the snowflake is installed and then the file um, part here as well right so after copying this and um, this after copying this this is the dssi and copying the uh, obdc INSC.ini, which is just Snowflake alone, and putting it into uh, my OBDC and OBDC.inst.it, I would save the files. <laughs> now, after saving the file, um, I need to do one more thing. So I, I don't have anything to do with this anymore. I've copied the file that I need here, then um, I can close this. Now, there is one more thing that I need to do. The OBDC is installed in two... Um, directories one your system library and then your user library so now i have my iobdc.ini file and obdc.ini 
OBDC INST dot INI file updated right here with the information that I've copied from the Snowflake uh, file. So I need to ensure that the same thing I have in this um, file and this file, I also have that same thing in the OBDC directory that is in my user library. So how do I get to my user library is I click on go again, then go to folder. Now this time around, I'm not going to slash OPT. I'm going to slash user, right? User slash uh, Mac because Mac is my username, then slash uh, library, right? Now it's going to open up the library uh, for me. Now this is library. Now, if you scroll down in your um, user library, right, you see a lot of things, but um, we are not concerned about that. So you should see OBDC folder, right? Now in OBDC folder, you should see two files there again, obdc.ini and obdcinst.ini. So all you just need to do is open this OBDC file, copy what you have in the obdc.ini file that you have in your user library, which is if I go back here now and come to my user library, so what you have in this file, right? Copy it to reflect in this file. What you have in this file, right? Copy it to reflect in this file. And once you're done, uh, you can close everything, right? Um, close everything, close your, um, your tableau, right? Close the whole thing and then uh, now relaunch your tableau and try to connect back and by the time you you know relaunch back and try to connect back you should be able to connect to uh your snowflake in particular because this um uh, how to guide is basically on um uh, on snowflake right so uh yeah uh again my name remains adebitayade i like writing about uh my learning journey and making tutorials and challenges um, that I face while I'm learning. So you can comment, like, and share this video so that it can help others as well. Bye for now and good luck.